come together uh, so we can hear the singers. We're going to have Bobby Dove, who's a folk singer from Montreal, to express her support and solidarity for Farja Mohammadi. support and our solidarity to Farjan Mohammadi, who was killed at this metro station Murder. last Friday. Montreal's an uh, artistic city and um, people in Montreal love art. And I think that artists across Montreal are shocked, horrified, and angry about the killing of Farshad Mohammadi. We live in a society and in the city where homelessness is an intense reality. And um, the killing of Farjad Mohammed uh, brings the issues of homelessness, police violence, into one story, a very tragic one. Uh, the reality here today in Quebec is that we will never know the story, the full story. We live in Quebec where police investigate police. There's no committee that exists that's independent of a police force to investigate police killings. Um, if the story is ever going to come full circle, we need to investigate and look at the roots of the issues. And one of them is holding police accountable. And the other issue is, why do we live in a society where people are so excluded, so poor, that they end up in such vulnerable situations where um, we are having a discussion around Farjad Mohammadi where he's almost criminalized for who he is. How come 60 people have been killed by the Montreal Police Force since 1987? It's been 25 years since Anthony Griffin was killed by the cops. I wrote a poem about Anthony Griffin. Then it was Fitzgerald Forbes. I wrote a poem about him. I don't know how many people after that were killed by the cops. I kept writing poems about them. I could almost publish a book. How come 60 people have been killed? And now the latest one? Why? Yeah, how many years has it been I've been involved in trying to save affordable housing in Montreal? Ever since I came to this city in 1981. And instead of affordable housing being more accessible, it's less than ever before. And that's a big problem. I've seen affordable housing, I've seen Overdale get torn down. Where do the people go from Overdale? They end up in the street. I see them walking in my neighborhood years later. From the street, they end up in the hospital. From the hospital, they end up back in the street or in jail. All kinds of problems. They end up in mental institutions and they're back on the street. And then what happens? The police decide, we'll take care of the homeless problem for you. We'll start killing them. And to me, that's unacceptable. That's not a solution to homelessness. It's not a solution to people having mental illness. It's not a solution to dealing with violence. It's not a solution to dealing with the poor. These people need affordable housing. That's the number one cause of poverty, is a high cost of housing in this city as elsewhere. Until the city takes responsibility for housing people, there are going to be repeat incidents. 